place is very well taken care of. They have this very beautiful green compound with lots of trees. Eh? Look at this, guys. There's so many palm trees around here. Make the place look beautiful. Look how that gate looks like. Eh? It's so cool. Eh? <laughs> like that whole hut or shed that is round. Very nice. So this neighborhood has old homes. That's what I've noticed. Must be a very old neighborhood. The three drive. Hi, hi guys. So we are in Bugolobi today. I'm very excited for this vlog. So this is around Bugolobi Market. We're going to be touring around this area today, specifically Bugolobi. If it's your first time on this channel, you're very welcome. I'm Ray, I'm a content creator. Welcome to my channel, Connect with Uganda. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and make sure that you watch this entire vlog because it's going to be very interesting. Ugolev is actually one of the nice and rich neighborhoods as well. When I say rich, I mean it's usually a bit expensive to buy around these areas because eh? they are very commercial. Like it's already a town, that's a bank, a pharmacy, it's full of shops and businesses. So the residential part of it, which is actually not too big as well, could be very pricey. So that's what I usually mean when I say that. Yeah, but this is Bugolobi. And this is around Bugolobi Market. That's why we are going to be touring today. Yeah. Uh, that's Post Bank Uganda, one of the local banks that's blue signpost as you see I actually used my first bank account was from Post Bank Uganda so <laughs> used it for a very long time so let's start from here yeah? right here is Bugolori Market let's start from Bugolori Market actually let's just enter on the inside and check it out and the fun story guys is that the first time I ever did a vlog this purpose. When I was doing my, when I started my YouTube channel in 2019, this is the first place that I came to to vlog around this market. So it's actually a food market. Oh, it has changed. Eh? Wow, it has changed. <laughs> it's full of people cooking. So usually this place used to have like a lot of people selling fresh food, like any market. But looks like now it's focusing on people just cooking food. This is crazy, guys. <laughs> this place has changed a lot. I haven't been here in a while. Oh, oh my, my freaking, freaking good. Bara, bara, bara. But guys, so this is the Bologna market where you can buy fresh food. Where you can actually come and where you can come and buy food to eat. Eh? See a big, big bowl of mandazi here. Ah, so they actually changed it somehow. So the part for fresh food is around this specific area. Ah, I think they expanded it as well. Eh? They expanded it as well. If you know Bugolobi Market, it never used to be like this. It has actually changed everything. And then up here, they are selling meats. But this is the area for food. Eh? Yeah, so. Uh, people are giving me bad eyes. Like, why am I filming their stalls? So. <laughs> but guys, I just want to show you guys around the market around Bugolobi market eh? yeah they changed it actually they changed it never used to be like this if you guys know this market previously never used to be like this they kind of rearranged it yeah but people in Bugolobi that's why they come to buy food yeah, when I used to have a job around the industrial area, before I did like full-time YouTube, sometimes me and my workmates would come to this market to look for food at lunchtime because it's very close to industrial area. Yeah. 
the live chickens as well. Yeah, wow. Crazy, huh? Full of suspens everywhere. <laughs> oh, guys, oh my god, oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> let's move out of this market, guys. Actually, I want us to also check out the Golobi Flats. They are somewhere around the corner. I don't know if I can walk there or if I'm just going to find a border girl to take me up to the Golobi Flats. So, yeah, but that was a quick market tour, guys, eh, of the Golobi. The Golobi is also very huge for nightlife. I'll show you guys where the nightlife happens. So the best nightlife in Kampala is around Bugolobi and Kololo. Yeah, that's why usually the best hangouts are Can I join Kololo. Your vlog? Yeah. Can I join your vlog? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Some guys here asking if they can join my vlog. <laughs> so the best nightlife in Kampala is in Bugolobi and Kololo. So I'll show you guys later. We shall come back to this area so the nightlife happens. From the market there, I made this turn here because eh? we are walking to the flats. I want to show you guys Bugolobi flats. They are the oldest flats in Uganda. They are on this route. They are actually over there. So they were built in the 1960s. That is like long, long time ago. And they were built by the Israelites. The Israelis who were in Uganda at the time. Yeah, so at least everyone knows Bugolobi Flats if you live in Kampala or at least has heard of them. So just want us to go inside and see how they are still standing. Eh? <laughs> That's like 60 years back or even more than 60 years ago. I'm sure most people who are watching this video are not yet born by now. So That's how you know that these flats are older than you. Eh? Very, very old. 1960. That is before Uganda's independence because we got independence in 1962 so I think they were built in the early 60s yes yeah, so we're going to go and look at them yes yeah, so this is Bugolori These are the flats right here and it's a very huge residential area there are like so many I'm not sure how many they are but they are very many so we'll enter inside and just check them out I've been there once but it's like long long time can't even remember long long time I haven't been this side of Kampala in a while yeah mission house there is a church here I don't know what they do around this area see best west plus there is Athena hotel yeah you see church of resurrection Bugolobi church of Uganda Kampala okay so that's a Christian church for Anglicans so I'm inside the flats guys, I'm just going to show you around Beats It's a very beautiful area As you see Just give you like a pan view Goes all the way down Let's walk this side Just to show you the blocks eh? But it hasn't changed, the flats have always looked like this actually. Always looked like this. There's a mango tree here. It's just parking lot, just people's homes, guys. Eh? So this is over 60 years old. They were constructed long, long time ago. <laughs> ages way way back yeah long long time ago and the buildings are made of concrete i think i think that's why they've stood the test of time eh? very very strong structures
beautiful strong structures and by the way this is like right in the city center eh? if you live here it's like very very close to town or if not town itself because <laughs> Bugolab is just part of Kampala it's like right next to the city center yeah so let's make a turn here and go back this side so that I show you guys another side of the flats eh? it's a big area just try to show you around different sides of it this is another side of the flats guys eh? I must say there is a lot of security so I can't easily vlog <laughs> I can't easily vlog guys to show you the entire area there is security everywhere so I'll just show you what I can yeah but this is another side of the flats eh? you guys can see it's a very big area actually just parking lot place is very well taken care of they have this very beautiful green compound with lots of trees eh? look at this guys then there was a guy earlier cutting the grass on the other side very well taken care of eh? they must have a very good management see can just go in here and sit very very beautiful so I'm here with Fisher and Bianca they live in this area in the flats and they've offered to show me around so you guys can do it. just show me around mm -hmm. so do you guys like like enjoying here enjoy staying is it like a nice neighborhood yeah because it's like well kept they like doing the grass yeah, and all that. Yeah, it's a very nice neighborhood. Mm. Yeah. It's a nice. Lot eh? of people around. A lot of people yeah, as well. Eh? Socialize. Oh, you can socialize. So, are you guys like same family members or just friends? No, just friends. Ah, but you, all your families live in here. Eh? Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> can just show me anything around. So, what do you guys do around the flats? Like, besides sitting on the chairs and enjoy the breeze. Is there like it depends on like the time because in the evening there is mm. football. And there's football, eh? Yeah. So there is a pitch around eh? Mm. Block uh, nine. Uh, on the other oh there are, there are more blocks on the side. Yeah. Just after this one. Ah. There's a pitch, there's a small pitch and then another one up in block ten. Oh wow. Do you mind if we take this route? I thought these are the last blocks here. It's like there is actually more ahead. Yeah, but that's a different gate like that. Across oh, that's a fence. different gate. Yeah. So there's a different access, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what? So how many entrances do the flats have? I know that this one here, and then where is the second one to access um, the other side? There's a, there was a, a gate, gate. But on the one lower one. side. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's not like it's okay. free access. Like you have to consult them. Ah, so it's like restricted, eh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like so do you guys have the view of the lake? I had no. like. There's no view of the lake because the lake is like what, what lake? Victoria. <laughs> there is no lake view here. Uh, okay. So, so where do you guys study from? Green Hill. You're in which class? S3. Form 3 right now. Form 3, eh? Uh, so, are you guys like in holiday? Yeah. Oh, so you're not at school, eh? Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Eh? Kelly, thanks for your time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's Fisher and Bianca. Yeah, uh, guys, I hope you've seen the flats. This is how they look like at the moment. If you stayed here a long, long time ago, they are still the same. Eh? Not much has changed, but they're actually very well kept. Yeah, that's what I can say. So let's move out of here and continue the Bugolobi vlog. Back to Bugolobi around the market area. So I want to show you guys where the nightlife happens and this is the street. Eh? This particular street has a couple of 
nightclubs. I can't remember their names, but I'll just show you guys where they are. They're all on this line. So if you come to Kampala and you want to experience the nightlife, just come to Bugolobi and then come to this particular street. At night, it's happening. Right now, it looks very dull. <laughs> But this is a very vibrant street when it comes to nightlife. This is where you want to come to. Yeah. So we're just going to walk it all the way down. And it will take us to where there is a mall. Eh? Where there is village mall. Golovi. I can't remember the name of this street. So that is Alchemist. And see that? Alchemist is a hangout area right there all these are hangout areas eh? all these are clubs actually just can't remember then this is thrones you can see thrones lounge you can see that so what happens is people will just come on this street and then hop from one bar to another because you can just start from yeah this is thrones in here can just start from one and then cover all of them there is the factory down there yeah <laughs> there is mad haters it's a very interesting name eh? mad haters then there is vault vault is really nice that's black that you see here the vault is nice definitely check it out so this is this street is for nightlife eh? nightlife in Kampala this particular area plus Kololo they're the best places for nightlife in Kampala yeah then there is Ruby that you see here with red and black that is ruby so this particular place comes alive at night not during the day night is when it comes alive eh? <laughs> so if you want to have a good time in Kampala you need to come to this place at night people will be happening people will be having a good time around this area this is a commercial area eh? that you see around here like the offices and things like that so this is called bandali rice that's the name of this particular street so there is oh, that is now garden. it should be an indian restaurant dfcu bank there's so many companies around this area all these are offices for companies and usually that's why these places become expensive eh? because because of these commercial businesses that are in here that's why it becomes expensive especially if some of them are foreign companies like the way you see or foreign NGOs like the way you see the Norwegian Refugee Council yeah but also Bugolobi actually is one of the first residential neighborhoods because of the Bugolobi flats eh, that have been here for a very long time so. because it's nice and super close to town so clan logistics so down at the end of this street there is village mall there is another entrance to village mall Bugolobi there is this big building not sure what happens there there's security across the street that's a security company which can give you guards if you want to hire guards for your office or your home that's the place and this is called great stone house i think it's just a commercial building with spaces for rent because i see the different companies in there right behind village mall eh? yeah. 
looks beautiful. At least the grass looks watered. Eh? Nice and green. So this is village mall. This yellow structure that you see with a brown roof, but this is the behind access. Eh? Road is a mess. I think there is like a sewage place that is broken around here. We are inside the mall. This is KFC. This is Village Mall Bogolobi. That's the name of this mall. This is Cafe Seri. It's just restaurants in here. This is a pharmacy. So where to buy your where to buy your gadgets? This is the area. Then there is a supermarket. There is Carrefour right at the end there. It used to be Shoprite, but Shoprite closed. Now there is Carrefour. Carrefour. It's an R. Yeah. This is Clinton's. It's a makeup shop. Eh? Beauty shop. <laughs> so this is village mall Bugolobi guys eh? maybe I'm going to take the lift and show you guys the second floor here there is a lift here that I can use so level 2 village mall is not as big as Acacia but it's nice actually I like village mall This is level 2. There's still some shops on this level. This is called Bliss. Eh? <laughs> oh, this is Sparkle Saloon. Eh? Sparkle Saloon is. Huh? So, Sparkle Saloon is one of the oldest saloons that has been in Uganda for a long time but it has kept the brand eh? like it has kept the quality I think they do nice work because it's been around for a very long time and they have different branches in different malls actually they have I think even at Acacia Mall at uh, Oasis Mall as well yeah I think they do a good job Oh, then there is Raiders Lounge. Eh? Raiders is a lounge or a club. I wear clinic here or shop. Sell shoes. Yeah. So guys, we are going to take the lift and go back down. We are exiting the mall. Right here there is Pizza Hut. Let's exit the mall. And uh, people are cleaning. Eh? So this is the actually the front part of the mall, where the main access is. They sort of entered from the back. Eh? But this is the main access for the mall, where you would normally enter from. Where there is shell, where there is shell of Bolobi. This is where you would normally enter from. This is Shell, Bugolobi, that's the mall where we're at. I want to show you guys another part of Bugolobi. I want to show you Ithuri Avenue. So, actually, I think I can pass around this corner here. Yeah, I can just pass here. Don't have to go all the way up there by the roads. Just pass here. And we go to Lithuri Avenue. There's a small supermarket here. Let me grab something to drink actually. Let's find a drink from here. Bought a coke and a sneaker. It's a diet coke, eh? no sugar. <laughs> zero, zero sugar. So, there's a coffee shop here. This is Enduro. 
Ndiro is a popular coffee brand eh, in Uganda, like which is known for coffee. I think they are known to have like at least the best coffee, some of the best coffee. Yeah, coffee lovers know Ndiro. Yeah. It's to have my drink and my sneaker. So I'm going to grab a border here all the way to Lithuri Avenue because. There's a very long stretch here to walk and there are so many cars and I don't like to walk when there are so many cars on the road. Like everyone is going home, eh? it's about 5.30. I'll just grab a border here all the way to Lithuri and i show you that area. Avenue that's the name of this street eh? but it starts all the way from Shell and then there is Union House here so Union House is where Jumia sits Jumia is an e-commerce platform an online shopping platform that we have in Uganda which pretty much does think the same thing like what Amazon does eh? in simple terms it's like the Ugandan Amazon but Jumia is actually I think from Nigeria yeah originally so I came this side because it's easy to walk around this part of Vugulobi, like it's not too busy. So I don't know if I should slope all the way down, but let's continue walking on the main road because eh? I want to show you guys around, uh, what is this called, Royal Suits? There is like a nice hotel this side of Vugulobi. I want to show you guys around that area. So let's continue walking on Lithuri Avenue, somewhere ahead shall make a turn and slope down eh? but it's a beautiful evening uh, the sun is setting in my background and this area is uh, actually Lithuri Avenue is beautiful and green grass is well kept this area is both commercial and residential as well you'll find offices you find rental spaces around here. You also find people's homes still around this area. Everyone is coming from work. It's an evening vibe. By riding bicycles. Because they're taking a walk just like me. Some are trying to return home. Take care of their families. So. South Gates group of companies. The offices are there. Oh, South Gate Properties. It's a property company. So there are actually very many companies which have offices this side. There is SBI International. This building here. Actually, that's where we are going to slope. So we are going to make a turn. Reynolds Construction Company. And there is oh, there are some residences under construction. Modern Life. I think these are apartments eh? under construction. Most luxurious residences in Bugolori. Okay. Oh yeah, so we're going to make a turn here. The place is very suits. Eh? The name just skipped my head. <laughs> yeah, real suits, Bugolegi. That's the name that I was looking for. 
Oh, I don't know from here. They show you guys around where it's This is actually a commercial building. There is a law firm in there as well. There you know. Yes, so this route will continue to race with Bugolari. Yep. I enjoy vlogging in places which are not busy, eh? where I'm not afraid that some Buddha guy is going to knock my feet. <laughs> it's a lot easier than vlogging uptown, eh? The crazy, crazy Kampala traffic and roads. Sugar Dynamics Limited, I don't know what they do there. Oh, actually, I think there is also a school, eh? There is an international school this side, if I remember very well. I haven't been this side in a long time, but I think there's also a school around this area. If I see it, I'll show it to you guys. This is the school eh? I was talking about, but I can't remember the name. Jewelry. Yes, I'm Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is Ambrosoli. Yeah, it's, a, it's an international school at the gate. Yeah, Ambrosoli, that's the name. I asked that Buddha guy, that's the one who told me. But, you can even see the main gate here. Ambrosoli International School in Bugolori. So people who stay around this area, if somewhere your kids can come and study. Is very suits Bugolori. It's a hotel. Eh? Yeah, they have a swimming pool. Yes, they have a swimming pool. You can come and do birthdays and things like that from there. It's actually nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's also one of the old hotels. I think it's been there for a very, very long time. Yeah, like live alone these new hotels. This place has been here for a very very long time at least from what I can remember. So these are these are homes actually. These are all homes. They are not homes in their offices. These areas that you see. It's actually clean road. Eh? I don't see any trash or any polythene bags looks like a clean neighborhood we're just going to keep walking on this road i really don't know where it leads to i've never gone past rail suits i don't know where this road leads to if it leads back to bugolobi like where we are earlier i'm not sure but we are going to find out here yeah. Sun is setting, beautiful evening. So many palm trees around here make the place look beautiful. So many palm trees. Jagan. But when I look at these homes, they look like they don't look like modern homes. Eh? Look like more homes which were constructed long time ago. That's how you know Bugolo is an old neighborhood. These are not new houses. These are houses which are probably older than me. <laughs> you can just tell it. Eh? Very interesting. I've never walked up to here. Look like houses that have been here for a while. You know? What's this pass here? gonna go back all the way up I actually
actually think this route will take us back to where the market is or to where Bugulobi flat is around that area that's what I think actually but we'll find out I've never taken this route the Nachi group house Ah ah, tumble. Zuku Fiber. I think that's an internet company offering those services. Let's see, that's an old home. Like it's not a modern house. But you can tell it's a nice home. It's a National Christian School, Rima. Oh, okay. It's another school around here. Very interesting. Let me take this turn here and I see what's on this side of Bugolobe. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me just take here. This is a residential neighborhood. I just see homes, homes, homes. But you can tell it's old. They're like they're not new houses. The houses which have been here for a while. I've never walked up to this part of Bugolobi. So I'm kind of enjoying this actually. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying this. Olive Garden, Cafe and Bistro. See some Chinese balloons. Eh? These balloons are Chinese. Red and yellow color, red and gold. Okay, the road actually stops right there ahead. You can see that's where the tarmac stops, so I think we are going to go back behind. Something has disturbed the birds. Eh? So guys, we are going to make a turn here because I see the road stops just there in front eh? <laughs> so we are gonna walk all the way up and see where this route leads us to I like this neighborhood actually eh? it's cool eh? it's not chaotic it's not noisy except for those border guys behind <laughs> looks like a nice neighborhood Nice and green, beautiful trees. He's walking his dog. Hello. See Green Power International. I don't know what they do. Green Power. It's green power but the writing is in red interesting this is a uh, ah, it's an umeme umeme is a uh, electricity company so we are coming from down there let's take this route here goes back to the Bugolodi. These are Umeme employees. Eh? Umeme is uh, an electricity company that works here in Uganda. They distribute electricity. Guardian Health Head Offices. Right 
there. And let's get the health does. And there is GIZ German Corporation. Eh? I think that's their offices as well. Right there. Interesting design on the gate. Eh? I'm also doing my evening walk by the way. <laughs> you know? I'm also doing my evening exercise. In the beautiful Bugolobi. So we are making a turn here where the car is coming from. if it's a home or offices but in say grow hub so earlier we we're walking on Lithuri Avenue this is Lithuri Drive but it's all Lithuri. It's the name of this area. What's that demo? This is Lithuri Drive. Eh? That's what I've noticed. I wonder what's in there. Eh? The company offices or someone's home, I don't know. Very strong fence, eh? Hi. With electricity. <laughs> no intrusion. A camera? Mm. <laughs> Telling me I have a nice phone, eh? so I'm telling them it's a camera. Guys, if you're enjoying this evening walk, give it a like. Source Children's Villages, Uganda National Office. I've always seen this organization, I never know what they do. You know? So there are offices right here. Blue 3 Drive. Uh, so, guys, eh, I think we're almost ending this vlog. So, I want to tell you guys about my Uganda travel guide. It has all the information you need to know about uganda if you don't want to watch a thousand youtube videos and still fail to get what you're looking for <laughs> that's the guide for you so there is a lot you can just read on the on the topics or the chapters covered but there is a lot in there i'm going to leave for you guys a link in the description so grab yourself a copy eh? yeah so I don't know if I should take that lower route. I don't know how it goes to or if I should continue here. But let's stick on the main road. Then there is unicorn in the corner there. Don't know what they do. So 
guys, I want to ask you a question that I've never understood. Why is walking a dog a thing? Like, why do people have to walk dogs? Like, I don't get it. Is it that a dog can't walk itself? Like, <laughs> why is it a thing? Like, I have to go and walk my dog. Is it more like a fun thing, just an activity to do? Or is it actually beneficial for the health of the dog? Like, I've never understood it. Eh? I'm not a dog owner, so if you have a dog, let me know. Why is walking a dog a thing? Like, yeah, I'm going to walk my dog. Let me know, guys. Eh? How many German corporation offices? Right there. There's another one here. Wow, this has been exploring Bugolobi because I've never walked up to this part of Bugolobi. Very interesting. This is an exploration of this neighborhood. Look how that gate looks like. Eh? so cool eh? <laughs> like that whole hut or shed that is round very nice so this neighborhood has old homes that's what i've noticed must be a very old neighborhood the three drive must be a very old neighborhood oh they were from back been walking on the third drive. I'm still trying to get back to the market area, eh? like the main road. <laughs> Once we get there, then the video is done. Eh? I feel like it's somewhere around the corner. Yeah. I hear kids. I don't know if this is like a school. I hear kids up there. I don't know if this is a school. Oh, it's a primary school. This is a school actually. It's called what? Train up a child international. There's a school here. So hidden. Eh? Can hear the kids are playing soccer. What I must say is that Bugolobi is full of trees, at least lots of them. The air is better and fresher than the city center, eh? at least. Yeah, it's so so clean, eh? So so clean, actually. So we are making a turn here, sloping down. At this point, I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I hoped I was going to find myself in the market area, but I don't know where this is. Eh? Just have to find my uh, just have to find my way back up to the road. Ravna K Villa So at this point I need a border Take me back to the main road Because clearly I've over enjoyed myself And <laughs> I don't know where I am guys 
it's still Bugolobi, but it's not where I thought that I'm supposed to be. Two, two, two. So you can see we've now reached the ghetto, yeah? So we are in a nice neighborhood up there where I'm coming from and then this looks like a ghetto see like some small tiny houses right ahead and then I see a road up there excuse me hi where are the <laughs> where is the Bugolobi market where do I pass uh, I have to go back up. Uh, border, border. I can pass here and go back to the market. How long is the distance? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I know Silver Springs. So, is this Silver Springs? These yellow houses that I'm seeing? No, they are in front. You see that like all the iron with black, like that one. Mm, so what are those? Are those apartments? Ah. Yeah, uh, when you see see tractor. Ah, uh, okay. It's okay. Thank you. So this is Tintari. Oh my Jesus. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys. Eh? So up here is Tintali. I found myself in Tintali, but. I'm just going to go I'm just going to go ahead and and get back to the main road eh? yeah I didn't notice that I overworked guys I didn't notice that I overworked yeah but that is Chitintale and then we shall just go back the way the guy has directed me and then we'll find the main road again yeah, this is like some sort of a swampy area that is nothing there. Hello. You're going to fetch water, eh? Hey. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine, eh? What's your name? Fakuitani. Kilda. Eh? Kilda, eh? Yeah. I told you, Fakuitani. There's some kids here going to fetch water with some little jerrycans. Yeah. Guys, I still don't know how I found myself in this area, but <laughs> we continue moving. We move, we move. I tell baby, I'm tiny. Yeah? Baby, I'm tiny. Where is he? Katumangu, I'm again. Don't know about the wagons. See, sure. Oh, the one from behind there. We're now closer to those apartments that you see. So the main road is actually somehow up there. I still don't know how I came to this side, honestly. <laughs> I have no idea how I came this side. Yeah. But we are almost back to the main road. These apartments look nice. Eh? They're quite many. It's like a stretch. Very many apartments. Then all this land is free, like there is nothing on all this land. It's a very big chunk of land. We are somehow closer to the road now. Came from behind there. Behind these structures, these buildings. These are the apartments that we were seeing earlier. Then there is Silver Springs Hotel. Bugolobi. 
So we're going to make that corner there. Then right in front is the main road. Yep. Very adventurous evening. Eh? <laughs> Many apartment blocks here. They're all within like one residence. Eh? There are so many. The ones we're seeing from behind earlier. They're right behind Silver Springs. This is Silver Springs Hotel in front of us. Are uh, finally back to the main roads. Yeah, that was a very long walk <laughs> that I didn't plan to do. Yeah, very unplanned, but. We are back to the main road here. This is still Bugolo, by the way. So I'm going to end the vlog here. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want a copy of the Uganda Travel Guide, I'll leave a link in the description. Be sure to leave a comment. If you've, if you've watched the entire vlog, leave a comment, let me know. Ah, that was long, eh? <laughs> yeah, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.